It's prom and graduation season right now. News 8 is putting you first tonight by looking at how your teenager can celebrate safely. Maureen joins us with experts on how to stay safe for prom. Maureen? <laughs> Yeah, we are in the thick of it now. We're just about to enter prom season, graduation season. It's a huge concern, if not a joy, of course, for families across the region as they send their young adults out the door uh, for all the events that are to come. So if you'd like some answers to questions and concerns you may have, call now, 287-8005. We have uh, representatives from local law enforcement agencies and schools here to take your calls, and they'll be here through 630. Joining me now is Bill Sanborn. He is the director of security with Churchville Chile High School. Bill, what, what are some of the things that parents should look for? A little checklist, if you will, as they send their child out the door, say, for prom. Um, I would suggest that the parents should start the conversation in advance of the prom, <laughs> talking about, you know, uh, what the expectations are. Uh, some of the things parents might want to look for is, um, you know, what are, the, what are their child bringing with them? Uh, what types of things is necessary for them to bring to the prom mm -hmm. um, because once they get there really we're going to be looking to making sure that they're not bringing in extra bags or things where they could potentially bring in things such as uh, you know alcohol or things that we wouldn't want brought into the prom so that's the other part of the equation is that you are at the school or at the the venue um, as security checking out checking out the kids so what are you looking for there when they arrive well uh, as security, we try to develop relationships with the students in advance. So we want to make them comfortable to come forward and share any concerns that they have with us. So when they come in, we have an expectation of what appears to be normal or maybe something that appears suspicious or some behaviors that just don't seem quite uh, appropriate. So we'll greet the students as they come in, as we normally would, even while at school. And we would just look for any indicators of things that maybe just don't look quite right. Yeah, a, a bottle of booze and a bag or something like that. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to let you get back to the phones and, uh, and keep on keeping on with the security <laughs> checkpoints. 287-8005. Uh, Bill is going to be here. We've got members of the Sheriff's Department, the Gates Police Department, and more. Call 287-8005. We'll be back with more news in a moment. You're watching News 8, the team you can trust. Adam Jones.